Bitcoin is experiencing a significant surge, gaining attention with less fanfare than previous cycles. Historical data since 2011 shows Bitcoin as the best performing asset 10 times and the worst performer 3 times. Bitcoin spot ETFs faced initial challenges but are now gaining strong momentum. Anticipation of increased interest as Bitcoin breaks through pivotal resistance levels. A growing number of people, even those unfamiliar with cryptocurrency, are showing interest in Bitcoin. MicroStrategy's executive chairman, Michael Saylor, emphasizes the transformative nature of Bitcoin as digital capital. Saylor defines money as economic energy, representing wealth and capital. The current global wealth is estimated at around $900 trillion, tied up in various traditional assets like real estate, stocks, bonds, and currencies. Saylor views Bitcoin as the digital transformation of capital, representing a shift from analog capital of the 20th century. The chart presented indicates a daily flow of $481 million from analog to digital capital through Bitcoin ETFs. Saylor emphasizes Bitcoin's role in capital preservation and appreciation, identifying it as the killer use case. The digital transformation of capital is highlighted as a significant driver for Bitcoin's growth. Saylor draws a parallel with the conversion of OG, original gangster, capital to digital capital. The mentioned podcast features Saylor discussing the concept of money, linking it to economic energy, and Bitcoin's role in the digital transformation of wealth. Saylor references Rockefeller in the podcast, connecting historical figures to the ongoing evolution of capital through Bitcoin. Discussion on the historical impact of so-called Robert Barons, who, despite a negative connotation, played a crucial role in changing humanity for the positive. Exploration of the implications of converting analog wealth into digital wealth and its potential positive effects on humanity. Civilizations are influenced by the creation and channeling of energy, with power seen as energy delivered within a specific time frame with focus. Comparison of different forms of power, such as firepower, naval power, air power, and nuclear power. Rockefeller's contribution with oil is noted. Bitcoin is described as digital property conveyed by digital power, with Bitcoin miners acting as digital power providers. Recognition of Bitcoin as the most powerful computer network globally, with the potential to profoundly impact the financial landscape. Highlighting the decay of analog wealth, including bonds, real estate and stocks, due to factors like inflation, physical decay, competition, and unforeseen events. Bitcoin is presented as a new idea, offering a secure space unaffected by weather, war, supply chain disruptions, and other challenges of the 20th century. MicroStrategy's rebranding as a Bitcoin development company is discussed, with a focus on its healthy software business and a substantial holding of Bitcoin. The company's ability to tap capital markets, leverage its market cap, issue equity and debt, and restructure its capital to promote the Bitcoin network is explained. MicroStrategy's strategy involves issuing securities to buy Bitcoin, promoting the Bitcoin network, locking up Bitcoin holdings permanently, and building the entire Bitcoin ecosystem. Emphasis on MicroStrategy's approach to use its capital to develop the Bitcoin space and support the growth of the cryptocurrency. Acknowledgement of the interviewer's positive view on MicroStrategy and Michael Saylor's strategies. Recognition of MicroStrategy's significant Bitcoin holdings and its impact on the company's equity market cap. Appreciation for Michael Saylor's insights and the sharing of pearls of wisdom on the show. Speaking to Bloomberg the interviewer notes Saylor holds just under 200,000 Bitcoin. Saylor observes that new spot Bitcoin ETFs collectively own over 700,000 Bitcoin, with a significant portion held by the Grayscale Trust. Nine new ETFs have entered the market, contributing to the increased Bitcoin ownership. Saylor ponders whether the influx of ETFs will make it harder for MicroStrategy to acquire new Bitcoin. They view the situation as a positive feedback loop or virtuous cycle. Spot ETFs facilitate institutional capital inflow into the Bitcoin ecosystem. Demand for spot ETFs, particularly newer ones like NET, significantly surpasses daily miner supply, sometimes by 8 to 10 times. Saylor notes the transformative effect of ETFs on capital, enabling the flow of traditional analog capital into the digital economy. Gemini co-founder Cameron Winklevis suggests that demand from new Bitcoin ETFs exceeds new token minting by miners by at least tenfold. Saylor acknowledges the intriguing supply-demand dynamics driven by ETF demand. The conversation transitions towards discussing the Sailor's existing Bitcoin investments. The Sailor's current net worth is approximately $10 billion. He mentions paper gains of about 70% from Bitcoin, emphasizing the attractiveness of such returns. The question is raised about selling at any point to realize profits. Sailor humorously references their famous statement of buying the top forever. Bitcoin is considered the exit strategy, seen as the strongest asset. Bitcoin has recently become a trillion-dollar asset class, mentioned alongside Apple, Google, and Microsoft. 
A distinction is made that Bitcoin is an asset class, not a company. Bitcoin competes with gold, the S&P index, and real estate as a store of value in the $100 trillion plus asset class. Saylor's belief is expressed that capital will continue to flow from other asset classes into Bitcoin due to its technical superiority. Bitcoin is viewed as superior to gold, the S&P index, and real estate. Saylor suggests there's no reason to sell the winning asset, Bitcoin, to invest in less favorable options. The argument is made for the ongoing attractiveness of Bitcoin as a long-term investment. This has been a summary of an interview between Fox, Bloomberg and Michael Saylor. Thank you for watching and listening. If you found this video of value, please like and subscribe to the channel for future updates.